Hey everybody, I'm running behind. I decided I would eat some lunch and all of a sudden I'm way behind. So copy and tweet. Let's go post the link on the page. Website is jollyrogerukulele.com. And today is lesson four of the introductory series. And so we are getting smarter about ukulele every minute of the day now. And um, today, let me look and see. I got to finish posting the link here real quick, get it posted, and then I'll tell you what we're working on. It's keep you in suspense. All right, let's roll down. Patience, patience, patience. There we go. And then um, I like to scroll down and just make sure the link is working properly. A lot of times people end up in the wrong spot because they don't get the link put, turned over quickly enough. All right, here we are. Now we're all set. Okay, so that's ready to go. Uh, today, lesson four is on the major scales. We're going to review the whole entire week because tomorrow we have a concert. Yeah, it's very exciting. So let's uh, let me let's see. Let me update this. Uh, let me go finish the tweet. We always have to tweet. I don't know why. Https. Uh, they still let me on Twitter. Jolly Roger Ukulele dot com. Jolly Roger Ukulele dot com. That's our website. Posted. Um, all right. Let's see. All right, let me just double check. I'm not missing something here. And guys, get settled in. Let me know if the sound is good. Um, that's the only thing I can't check uh, on a day-to-day -day basis is whether uh, whether the sound is good for you. <laughs> and so uh, Vic, Vic is in. She says the sound is good. Elizabeth is here again. Hi, Elizabeth. Good to see you. Nancy's in. She says the sound is good. Um, and again, um, uh, I say it often, um, those of you guys that are newer, um, if you log into using your Gmail credentials into YouTube, uh, then you can use the chat bar. And if you don't do that, you, you can listen, right? There's no reason why you have to participate in the conversation. But if you have questions, that's definitely the fastest and easiest way to get that and those answers figured out. And so um, would be delighted to have you um, come. Other thing is, where are you from and what's the weather like? That's, uh, that's one of the things that we got in the habit of doing, which is kind of fun, um, you say. Um, so how's the weather in your neighborhood? So the weather here in Denver, Colorado, USA <laughs> is overcast. It looks pretty nice out there. I haven't gone outside yet. Um, but it looks pretty lovely out there. I think it's supposed to be 40 upper forties today, something like that. Uh, I don't know what that is in Celsius, but, uh, it's going to be fine. It's I think what, 2018 degrees, something like that in Celsius. Um, you guys that are from, from, international viewers you'll tell me what 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 is <laughs> they all they have to know fahrenheit uh, as well because americans are like oh 70 degrees here how much is that in celsius so linda welcome in cos checking in sounds good yay i'm glad you're here linda cos that's colorado springs for those of you guys who don't know <laughs> let's see janice is in from across the pond i am a facebook not facebook instagram stock janice last week um, she friended uh, Jolly Roger on on the uh, Instagram, and so I was following her back. And I'm gonna go. I know she's from Scotland. I'm gonna go check out where she's from. And uh, it's she's a bicyclist, right? Janice got all these nice bicycle photos, and it has a horse named George. And um, uh, it's beautiful, like you know, just like what you'd expect Scotland to look like. Is she? She? It's a part of Scotland I didn't get to. Um, we were lucky a couple of years ago to uh, drive up the entire coastline all the way around the top and, 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 and most of the way back down and uh, beautiful beautiful country really exciting to get to spend some time there and so I'm I can't possibly tell you how how excited I am to know Janice <laughs> Mary G is here good to see you Mary Bruce is in he's in from Virginia everything's going fabulous in Virginia um, 
hopefully everything's going better for everybody today than yesterday. Uh, Elizabeth has snow where she is. Okay, Donna, I'm representing Lakewood, Colorado. That's where I do most of my teaching is uh, just to the west here. Uh, sunny in 69 in Florida. Um, yeah, we. Uh, the problem with knowing Nancy is that um, her weather is better than your weather, <laughs> no matter what. You know, if your weather is kind of really horrible where you are, it's it's not that horrible where she is. If you have good weather, she has even better weather. So, uh, coldish over in Golden. Okay, all right. Kind of, yeah, it looks. I, I looked outside. I think it's supposed to be a nice day, but it's probably kind of cold. Dave is in. Hello from Dave from Michigan. Good to see you. Rob is in from Texarkana. 41 degrees. Lots of rain yesterday. Okay. That's probably pretty cold for you down there, right, Rob? 30, 41 degrees and rainy. That's probably, you don't live in Texas to have it be rainy and cold, right? Linda's in. She's from uh, Southern Colorado. Good to see you, Linda. Good to have you. All right. So a little bit late start today. I went I went and grabbed some lunch and I'm just late getting back. Uh, had to check Twitter to see if the world still existed. And of course, then I that ran me over. So Diane is in. All right, guys. So as you can remember, we are doing both baritone ukulele and regular ukulele and together to for a really specific reason. Um, it's going to give you a chance to play with me in a duet when I'm using one instrument and you're using a different instrument or when we're using the same instrument. So it's going to make you a smarter musician, going to make you more confident in what you're doing. We'll find chinks in your armor too. Like what do I know? What do I don't know? What did I think I know that suddenly I really don't know? Uh, and uh, so there's all that. I'd like to start with, um, uh, and uh, by the way, tomorrow you have your concert coming, right? And so tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, uh, I want you to know everything that's in your section on the website. So the 12 noon section, Foundation for Instrumental Ukulele and Baritone Ukulele. Um, I want you to know, have a good sense of uh, uh, what types of ukuleles are out there, uh, what types of strings you should have on them. I want you to know how to tune your ukulele. I want you to have good, uh, tell me, you know, we'll talk about good posture one last time. Uh, I want you to know a little bit about the standard mute notation, which some, many of you have some music background. You're interested in that, and I'll tell you why why you may or may not care about that on ukulele. Um, we'll talk about practice logs and your progress tracker and all of that stuff. Um, in addition, we will play Frere Jaca both ways, baritone and ukulele, and then we, uh, and with chords and with melody. Then we'll play a bunch, then we'll probably put off the strumming, the little booklet. We'll probably put those off till the end and we'll just play as many of those as we can fit in. Um, yesterday we worked on getting your bar chord started and that's using this finger as your bar up and down there. And we're going to repeat that again today to make sure that that's starting to come along. That's an exercise you're going to want to do every single day uh, because bar chords will be your bigger, one of the many challenges uh, becoming a great instrumentalist. And so the sooner we get it started and as soon as you start uh, figuring out how to how to uh, get good sound out of that, the, the better. Um, let's, you know, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start with Ferrer Jacques today. That's hopefully one you've been practicing enough where it's starting to sound like something. And... Um, uh, let's see, my, the first instrument I have is my regular ukulele. So those of you guys on baritones, you are grabbing your A chord. Um, I changed all of the strings on all of my ukuleles all at the same time. Uh, whoops, sorry, I just broke your speakers at the house. And so every instrument I have is out of tune, like major, every single day lately. Um, all right. <clears throat> Remember, if you're on baritone, you're playing chords, and your shape for A is this, index, middle, ring. That's what you're playing as a baritone, and you're giving us four strums, four plucks, four something, maybe down ups, four down ups, whatever you want to do, as long as it's in a multiple of four for every single measure. Ukulele players, you guys are going to give me one, two, three, four... Or, I'm sorry, zero, two, four, zero, and so on. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, two, four, oh, oh, two, four, oh, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, fast, seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh, seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh. First string, second string, first string, 
first string, second string, first string to the top, O two, four, O, O two, four, O, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, seven, nine, seven, five, four. Seven nine seven five four O first string second string first string first string second string first string now we talk about all, every single time we get together that piece of paper there is the most important piece of paper period in the entire in all of the 200 and some songs that are on the website that's the one that's the most important if you can get where you understand how to pluck out a melody and you get where you're strumming the chords okay you're going to be fine okay it's going to get really complicated going forward um, starting next week we're going to start combining the chords and the melody at once uh, but if you are like yep i'm at least understanding the theory behind whether i can do it or not isn't important and i understand what i'm supposed to do tucking my fingers into doing it uh, then what we'll be doing is taking a that melody playing and the chords of the baritone we're just playing and we're going to be smashing them all together and you're going to be doing um, what we call tough uke or finger style or chord melody uh, and all of that's going to make you sound amazing when you play as a soloist but you're also right now learning how to play in an ensemble so that if you get together with other people you can play them all right ukulele players grab your a chord baritone stay on your a chord i'm about to sing this uh, i have taken uh, exactly zero singing lessons and it'll show one, two, ready, play. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. One more time. Frère Jacques. Remember, with this hand, you want to be as creative as you can. Sometimes you'll thumb strum, sometimes you'll index finger strum, sometimes you will pluck, and then when you get more advanced, you'll be plucking individually. That's called an arpeggio pattern. And as you do that, then it's you start to sound way more sophisticated, even though you haven't done anything extra here. Your, your overall ukulele playing sounds much more sophisticated, and that's what we're wanting you to do, is we want you to sound fancy. And then... Um, I think the other thing to think about when you are on chords, you're not playing with the melody. Whatever happens in the melody happens. It doesn't matter. You're playing with the beat. One, two, three, four. Or in that, in my second case, one and two and three and four and. Um, and so there's that. All right, baritone players, we're going to switch it up. Ukulele players, grab your E chord. See if you can remember what that looks like. <clears throat> I forgot to update. The, I'm going to send myself a note to, i got to remember to do this. i got to update your, re-update the ukulele sheet, or the baritone Frere Jacques sheet. So I'll text myself. Um, G, whoops. G-A-R-Y. Gary. Update baritone for Jaka, exclamation point. Mm -hmm. You can see how it's spelled for Jaka. That's funny. All right. Close. All right. So now I'll send a note to myself to fix your Frere Jaka. Baritone players, I'm grabbing a guitar. That's not going to help at all. Let me get this out of the way. <laughs> all right. Go away. Not helpful. All right. Ukulele players, your E chord is. Bar on four, pinky on seven. Bar on four, pinky on seven. Uh, baritone players, your uh, E chord is right here. Let's sing. Let's do one last singing thing for me. Okay. Let me make sure I'm in tune. It doesn't sound like it. Getting closer every day. Ugh. This is the one that's the problem. This is the problem.
Okay. Uh, ukuleles, this is your shape. Baritones, that's your shape. That's your E chord. One, two, ready, play. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, brother John? Brother John. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding. One more time. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, brother John? Brother John. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Okay, so I did lots of different things with my right hand to make it sound fancy, to give myself different textures to make the song work. Now, obviously, when you're playing real music, you probably don't switch a million times in this in the song, but you want to have all of those tools available to you, and then you can kind of pick which way to sound the best. Oh, hey, Jim. Welcome in. Good to see you. Um... All right, so now, uh, baritone players, you're going to play the melody. Ukulele players, you're sticking with that chord. Bar on four, pinky on seven. Okay, and uh, we will f remember four beats per measure. Okay, uh, baritone players, you're playing the melody. One, two, three, four. Oh, two, four, oh, oh, two, four, oh. Four, five, seven, four, five, seven, seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh, seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh. First string, second string, first string, first string, second string, first string, one more time. Oh, two, four, oh, oh, two, four, oh. Four, five, seven, four, five, seven, seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh, seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh, first string, second string, first string, first string, second string, first string. Okay, so tomorrow, big thing that you want to have ready, you want to make sure that you can play um, your instrument with melody and then also go through and play it with the chords. And then you're also going to play with the chords for the other instruments. So you're going to be playing chords on um, baritone when the ukulele players are playing their part. And then, uh, then you'll be playing a different chord shape when the baritone players are playing their part. And same for ukulele, right? So we'll be doing a lot of that stuff. That way, one, you're getting good as a soloist. You're getting good as an ensemble player. You're getting good at thinking about, all right, just because I know a C chord, because that's what my, that came, the little book that came with my ukulele showed me how to make a C chord. That's not the only way to make a C chord. And so uh, we want to get you sort of out of that thinking that uh, I'm going to learn this C chord and I'll never need, need another C chord. There are lots of C chords on your instrument, and we're going to be using all of them as instrumentalists. Um, if you're a singer, you usually don't do that. But if you are a instrumentalist, you have to use all these other chords. And so we'll be uh, moving forward on that constantly and getting better and better at all that stuff. Uh, let's skip over the strumming thing for a little bit. Uh, we'll probably we'll pick one or two songs out of there to play today. Um, let's go to that Make a Better Bar Worksheet. I'm going to start. Um, we're going to sound terrible as we do this because I'm going to be in a different key than you. Baritone players, I'm going to go all the way up, down and all the way back up. Then we'll switch and then uh we'll do the ukulele okay so it's thumb index middle ring as you come down and ring in middle index thumb as you go back up okay grab your bar one two uh, sorry one two ready play zero one two Ten. There's seven. Five. And then finish. 
finish up with zeros. Okay, so if we were playing baritone, we sounded pretty good. If we were playing ukulele, we sounded pretty terrible. So let's switch. We'll do the same thing. Now we'll make the baritone player sound terrible. Okay, same thing. From the top, one, two, three, four. One. Second fret. Three. Four. Seven. Ten. Change your pattern. Ring, middle, index, thumb. Ring, middle, index, thumb. And we're on 10. Here's 7. Five. Ending. So that's your make a better bar worksheet. And now my hand's a little tired, right? Yours is probably like, ow, that really hurts. Um, we're building up. There's um, basically three muscles that run your thumb, and uh, we're working on building them all up. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a pretty legit muscle here <laughs> from playing ukulele. And, um, you know, it's going to make your, the, the palm of your hand hurt a little bit, this part here. Um, but if we get this real strong, then all of a sudden this is not going to be a problem. We can't have your wrist hurting uh, because that means you're doing something wrong. Uh, but we do, we're okay with your thumb being like, ow. Okay, because that means you're actually doing, playing the instrument correctly. And we're going to be playing Make a Better Bar Worksheet for the rest of your life. So uh, it's just one of those things where bar chords have a tendency to be the, uh, a dividing line between the players who are playing and those whose ukulele is in the back closet and they quit a year and a half ago. They run in, You run into bar chords and they're, they're, kind of, they're kind of hard to do. You guys will be fine with it because you're already working your bars all of the time. All right, now let's talk major scales. Okay, I want you to grab, uh, let's start with, um, and today's a fairly short lesson, okay? So let's start with the ukulele scale. And baritone players, you'll look on here as well because there's information. Both of these sheets are more or less the same, the ukulele one and the baritone one. The difference between them is that the baritones have three scales and ukulele, you just have one scale. And um, the, the, the reason is baritones end up playing with uh, ukulele players a lot more and they have to switch keys more often uh, and play things they're a little more uncomfortable with whereas ukulele players are almost always the lead player and it's very un unusual for ukulele players to have to do the switching so uh, let's talk about that and let's make sure that you're feeling comfy with them so we're looking at the ukulele one first i would say it says playing the c scale up there on top now here's the important thing for you guys that are new to music this is this is not an accident this piano is here it's really really critical that you understand that the notes that you pluck on the instrument are the same exact notes that you would pluck on and on the uh, piano and for you guys you're very lucky um, um, I love the fact that ukulele is exactly starts at middle C so your low string here that C you know as George Clooney eats apples that C note there is middle C and so on that piano I've marked it there specifically middle C that's that note Okay, and if you notice next to the middle C, there's a black key. Well, that's this note right here. Okay, and then next to the black key is another white key. Well, that's a D note. That's right here. Okay, and next to that is another black key, and that's this note right here. It's D sharp. Okay, next to that black key is a white key. That's an E, and that's this your second string open. And next to that's an, another white key. That's an F, and that's notes right here. Okay. Next, I'm going to do a few of these, okay? Next to the uh, F, um, one is a black key, and that's called F sharp. That note's right here. Next to the F sharp is a G, and that's note right here. Next to the G is a G sharp. That's the black key. 
right there. Next to that G sharp is an A, and that's your open string on the bottom. Okay. Next to that is an A sharp, more popularly known as B flat in ukulele lingo. Okay. And then the next note's a B, that's the last white key before we start over again. And then there's a C here. Okay, so what I would do on that paper, if you've not seen any music at all, I would write middle C, and then the next white key is a D, the next white key is an E, the next white key is an F, the next white key is a G, the next white key is an A, next white key is a B, and then the, the um, next white key, obviously, is a C, and so the notes go from A to G, A to G, A to G, and for some reason in music, they decided middle C was where we were going to what, how the piano is going to lay out, and since they decided that, all of the other instruments follow suit based on what you do on a piano, because you can't retune a piano, obviously, uh, in on the fly like you can with ukulele or guitar or some of the other instruments. So that is all of the notes. That's called a chromatic scale when you do everything. And that's a chromatic scale, but that's not particularly helpful in music. That's just all the notes, okay? We want to arrange the notes in a way that makes sense. So if you're on ukulele, this is going to make sense. Now, baritone players, don't play yet because you got your own scale, okay? Uh, so ukulele players, you're going to play C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and you can look down at the tablature. On the tablature, I gave you more information than you need. On the left side, it says low G ukes only. And I don't want you to, even if you have a low G, I don't want you to think about that right now. Those are some notes on here. If you have a low G, a low string instead of a high string here, you'll have those notes. Most of us don't have those. This ukulele is a high G, does not have those notes on there, so we can ignore those. Well, what matters is starting with the C, we're going to play C, and then we're going to play a two. D, C, D, C, D, C, D. Then on the next string, we're going to play E, F, G. So that's E, and then a 1 is an F, and a 3 is a G. So it's E, F, G, E, F, G, E, F, G, E, F, G. And on the next string, the top string, it's A, B, C. A, and then a 2 is B, and a C is 3. So A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Okay? Now, Ukulele players, I want to go all the way up to the top, and then I want to come down. By the way, for now, the extra notes, the 5 and the 7 there, the, the uh, final D and E, just ignore those. What I want to do very quickly with ukulele players, not baritone yet, 0, 2, 0, 1, 3, 0, 2, 3. So play with me. 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 2, 0, 1, 3, 0, 2, Three. So you're gonna work on that now. Let's play it together one more time. Ready? Play. O two O one three O two three. Now before we get out of here today, I'm gonna to want ukulele players to play O two O one three O three, and then immediately turn around and come right back down. Two O three one O two O. So let me play it for you. scale, that's a C major scale, used right between those two vertical lines, 0, 2, 0, 1, 3, 0, 2, 3, go to the top, don't repeat the top note, just turn around and we'll go right back down, okay, that's your C scale, and over on your left hand, if it's in a 1, you're using your index finger, and if it's a 2, you're going to use your middle finger, and if it's a 3, you're going to use your ring finger, okay, and um, though, so like, you take a moment to practice that, baritone players, Let's look at your sheet music, okay? So go grab your, the baritone one. You have the same piano keyboard up there. The difference is you're a different key. You are in the key of G when you're playing that same scale. So look at your G scale. Same exact thing. You're going to play a zero on the third string. Then you're going to play a two on the second string. I'm sorry, two on the third string. And then a zero, one, three on the second string. And then zero, two, three. Okay, tiny bit out of tune. All right, so again from the top, one, two, ready, play. O, two, O, one, three, O, two, three. Something, something's out of tune. Let me ask the last string is not being cooperative. Let me see what I did here. Just didn't get it quite enough. Okay, one last time when I'm in tune. One, two, three. 
Before we leave today, I want you to play O two O one three O two three two O three one O two O. Okay, and we will do that separate from the ukulele players. So the ukulele players are doing their practice. You're doing your practice. Baritone players only. You also have two other skills. You have the D scale O two four. Remember, you with pinky. You with four, you use your pinky. O two four O two O two three and and then right back down. The ukulele players don't have a convenient D scale. They they have to, uh, will end up using a C scale with a bar on it. Basically is how we play a C scale or a D scale on the ukulele. Um, your C scale is actually going to end up going way up the neck. So when we play with the ukulele players, you're going to play this C scale. Okay, a one and then a three and then a zero and then a one and then a three, okay, those are all just all ones and threes. Then you see above the A, it says CV. That means put a bar on five. Now you're not really gonna put a bar in this case. You're just gonna slide up into fifth position. Five, ring finger, seven, and eight. And then turn right around and come back. So that's your C scale. So you're gonna be picking different notes and you end up going way up the neck and that makes sense right ukulele has the higher voicing baritone has the lower voicing so to play the same notes you got to slide way up here this c this uh c is their high c as well this c is their low c they don't have any notes lower than that um, whereas they have plenty of notes up here that are higher than you can play so um, when we play the c scale with those guys you play the c scale when we play this g scale just for you they're gonna go I don't know, wander the streets and pick fights, okay? So that's it. Do take time, all of you, both ukulele and baritone, to, to memorize your piano keyboard. Um, I would say there's very few things I really, 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 really feel strongly that you should memorize, um, and the piano notes are one of those, okay? Uh, how to tune your instrument, dark, gloomy, baritones explode, or... Um, George Clooney eats apples. That you need to memorize. The other one you need to memorize is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then know where your sharps and flats are as well. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, those no, no E sharp, um, uh, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C, and there's no B sharp. Um, I will mention very quickly, if a few of you have studied other instruments, there is technically an E sharp. There is technically a B sharp. Uh, and you will see it in advanced music, mostly classical music, sometimes in jazz. Um, don't be a psycho. An E sharp is an F. <laughs> uh, back when I used to play Chopin, you know, you get these weirdo minor keys and there'd be all these E sharps in there. And it just, it just made you, made you, ugh, made you so angry. All right. Uh, good morning, Linda. Glad you're here. All right. So now I want to play some scales. Okay. Ukulele players, you're going to play along with me. I'm going to play the C scale on baritone. You're going to play your C scale on ukulele. Baritone players, we're playing the C scale. Ukulele, you're playing the C scale. Now, don't watch my left hand. It's going to be different than yours if you're on ukulele. If you're on baritone, yeah, my left hand and your hand are the same. From the top, starting uh, with your low note, we're going to go all the way up to the high note and then come back down. And it will sound the same. Okay, ukulele and baritone players. Baritone, key of C, ukulele, key of C. One, two, ready, play. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to bet if you're like most people, that's a lot, right? That's new information. Your brain's trying to get your, everything put into place, and uh, it's a lot. And so what we're doing, we've, we're net, we've been playing Frere Jacques all on this string. Now we're using all these other strings to get a melody out. Okay, from the top again. One, two, three, four. One, I'm D, sorry. E, F, G. A, B, C, B, 
A G F E D C. Beautiful, right? Okay, I'm gonna switch instruments. Baritone player, stay on the key at C. Ukulele player, I'm gonna now play with you from the top. One, two, three, four. O D E F G A B C D A G F E D C. And tonight, as you're working on this and or spending a little bit of time working on this after class, um, your goal. Keep it steady. If that's too fast, you slow down. It won't be more important to be steady and, and an even pacing than that's not what we want, right? What we want is When you start to think about these things, um, the nice part is that this is going to turn into real songs. Okay, right? There's there's a Christmas song for you. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. So now we're not doing it evenly, but we've changed. Um, uh, we're still using those exact same notes, right? And we're just learning how to lay them out and using what they're useful for. Uh, and we're going to be playing uh, next week. We cover Brahms Lullaby and Yankee Doodle and My Spaghetti Monster and all of those um, songs. Take advantage of these scales uh, to help you know where to put your fingers. Okay. Baritone players, I'd like to play your other two scales really quickly. Ukulele players, you can take a second off because this won't make sense on your instrument. Uh, baritone players, since let's just go up to play. Let's play that D scale. One, D is in dog scale. One, two, ready, play. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, D, sorry, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D. Okay? Let's do it again so I can get it right. Ready? Play. O, two, four. O, two. O, two, three, two. O, two, O, four, two, O. And then let's do the key of G scale while we're staring at it. It's the same fingering as uh, yours, uh, as the C scale for ukulele. Ready, play. O two, O one, three, O two, three, two, O three, one, two, two, O. I missed a note. Let's play it again. Ready, go. O two, O one, three. got that okay so baritone players you have three scales we'll do all of those tomorrow um and ukulele players you have just your main scale and um and then we'll be making all that beautiful 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 sounding nice clean melodic uh your scales you want to get them clean and you want to not necessarily fast but probably faster than you're playing them now so it's a good idea to warm up with those on a regular basis um and um, all right, so now you've studied your scales, uh, you have a general sense of what they are. The important takeaway from these two pieces of paper are one, uh, that you're using multiple fingers and finding those notes on multiple strings, okay? And learning how to read your frets. You obviously, learning to read tablatures takes a couple of weeks to get it good at it um, because it's upside down, right? So 02013023. Um, you start on, it, it's 
it's lower on the paper, but it's higher on your ukulele. So just remember, just if you get confused when you're looking at a piece of sheet music, a piece of tablet, you're like, shoot, I don't know what's going on. Just hold it up to your paper, and then everything will make sense, and then you can put it back down, and then you can play it. Uh, it does make sense, and when you first encounter it, you're like, why is it upside down? And the more you do it, you're like, oh, I, that makes perfect sense. It makes That's a way better idea, because the original tablature was written the other way, and I played enough of it to know that it's a bad idea. And so, so thankfully, around the 16th century, somebody said, no, up, right side up is not the way to do it. Let's make it upside down. It'll make more sense. And it does. So the first week or two is kind of like, what? And then after that, it makes sense. Uh, let's see. Q says, catching up from the news from yesterday. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. So we're, we're going to, we, we have a 45 minute period here where we try not to think about the news, right? Uh, so yeah, thanks Q. Uh, Vic, I'm, I'm here to do more music. I can read the news myself, <laughs> right? Let's see. D Donna says on the, did you say that the right hand needed to use individual fingers? No, no yeah, he, Donna, I think the answer to that is yes and no. Okay. When you're first starting, I want you to use your thumb. watch me play 80% of the time I'm using my thumb when I'm playing straight melody because it's soft beautiful now if when you get into more complicated melodies you may not be able to do that it's not a bad idea to start practicing with index middle index middle whoops see how I'm struggling with that because I don't typically do that. Um, but that's um, an exercise. We're going to have lots of other smarter ways to work on this type of activity where we're working these fingers and it's called arpeggio picking. Um, so when you're playing your scales and it's just one note at a time or you're playing melody and it's one note at a time, and it's not a particularly complicated melody, you're probably going to play it mostly with your thumb. It just sounds better, has a prettier tone. I would not, unless you're wanting a challenge, right? And then, of course, you're using your index middle. You can use your index and ring. Right? You never use your pinky, but you might use the index middle for go play part of it and then do ring index for the, another part of it. Uh, try middle and ring. That's a toughie. Okay. Um, but um, I would not put that high on my list of to do right now. That's really a much more advanced activity. And, and in the, and all of the sheet music in the level in the, in the foundation level can be played with your thumb, all of it. Um, we will, well, not all of it, almost all of it. We will be working on arpeggios in week four ish of that. And so, um, yeah, so I don't know. Yes, you should work on it, but no, I wouldn't. Right. Sort of thing. So, all right, guys, I want to just give you a little pep talk for tomorrow when we're getting ready for a concert okay which is tomorrow tomorrow is your first concert of the new season uh there's many things i think about one um you want to get in your seat 15 minutes early you want to have time to be calm and cool and collected you want to double check tonight that your book is in perfect order that you have all of the things on that piece of paper in your book you want to have all of your notes and all this stuff clean it up make sure everything is the way you want it sit come sit down 15 minutes early and get your zen zen head on you know and just be like home okay uh then um uh, dress a little nicer than you do in real life okay <laughs> tomorrow's a reason to take a shower and put on uh well take the sweats off you take get out of your pajamas right um uh, and and come to concert looking a little nicer than you usually do um here in denver when we give concerts with the uh, rocky mountain ukulele orchestra um in the springtime i make them wear concert black they have to show up wearing all black and uh, in the the christmas concert we i let them dress Christmassy and so but they always dress pretty you know and they're all fancy and they come in and it's a lot of fun uh, so tomorrow is your first concert um, for some of you it may be your first ever concert and so come come show up early get settled in um, and then as soon as I can get the link posted then obviously you'll come in and we will play through everything so we and we'll talk about everything just to make sure you know what's on all of these pieces of paper so you have a lot this first week's a lot it's like oh my gosh um, the big thing for you guys is um, playing for Jaca, I, again, I, I cannot emphasize enough how important that is. Second thing uh, that we'll do is we'll do those, bar, make a better bar worksheet again. Uh, we will play scales for the ukulele and all of the scales on baritone. Baritone guys have uh, three scales and ukulele have one. And then, um, 
and then grab that strumming book. And remember, if you're on ukulele, you're going to play A chords, D chords, E7 chords, A chords. Okay, there might be we might do um, kookaburra, and that has an F sharp minor in it. So when you're you're on your A, F sharp minor is just right there. D chord and E7. And for those of you who are creatives, those of you who like writing and poetry and uh, arts and all that, um, we will talk about how you can use those four chords. Uh, we'll talk about again how you use those four chords to make uh, songs. Baritones, your chords are A chord, D chord, I'm sorry, F sharp minor, D chord, and E7. Okay. Again, we will talk about how you turn it into music. And so on. And so you can use that, those chords to create music. Tomorrow, for sure, during class, we will play um, spaghetti one. My spaghetti, spaghetti rolled my, my meatball, the spaghetti meatball, what's it called? <laughs> Oh God, um, the, the spaghetti one. <laughs> my brain, oh my brain. What's it called? We for sure will play on top of spaghetti. Kid, gosh. Yeah. So take a look today at page twelve on top of spaghetti. We for sure will play, and we will probably also play kookaburra, which is on page ten. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. I like kookaburra because it has the greatest line ever written in music. And I like On Top of Spaghetti because it's a very hopeful uh, song uh, that comes from tragedy. And uh, after a day like yesterday, we need a little bit of hope uh, that comes out of tragedy. So uh, so we're going to be in good shape with that. Uh, ukulele, baritone, tomorrow. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, obviously toss me an email. I'm perpetually behind on email, and I will try to get back to you, but I don't. I don't guarantee anything when it comes to email. Day to day, it's been a bit of a bit dicey as to what I can get it done on that. Um, hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and uh, we're going to keep moving forward with music. If you missed any of the previous lessons this week, they're all on the archive page of the Jolly Roger Ukulele. So you just go there and click on Video Archive, and all uh, the previous lessons, for, and click on Video archive and all uh, the previous lessons from the week are there uh one yeah monday tuesday tuesday monday tuesday and wednesday are all already posted i gotta put a headline on for wednesday but they're there for you and ready to go um this is the important week in music this is it if you can get the foundational skills in place every single thing else we do is building on these basic uh building blocks so really Let's get this week right, and then everything after that's going to just be more fun, and, and you just get better and better and fancier and more important, and pretty soon you have an attitude that you're a great musician and all this stuff. So that's my goal. Give you give you enough skills and and uh, uh, that you feel like, yeah, Gary, he's a loser. That's 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 where I want to get you to. So I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, do a random act of kindness for somebody. Now more important than ever. Two, be safe. It is not safe out there, so be thoughtful and stay home. <laughs> that's that's where you should be. Stay home, play ukulele. Uh, practice tonight because tomorrow's a concert. Uh, show up a little bit early tomorrow and get settled in. Just be ready and have your game face on. Uh, uh, keep showing up. Okay. Subscribe and like if you haven't done that. I win a free puppy eventually from YouTube. And then... Um, for those of you who are newer, I want you to go to the website and read about membership. Uh, yeah, you're new, but that doesn't mean you can't play the stuff that we're playing for the members. And um, um, so go to the site that's called uh, Subscribe and read that page. And obviously, um, it's pretty inexpensive to become a member of our website. And then you end up being a member of the community uh, and, and all sorts of really... Um, you get access to all of the music that we've done in the past. So give that some thought. It's a good website, and there's lots and lots of music on there. And uh, hopefully it'll all be uh, turning you, and it'll hopefully inspire you to just keep 
keep going. You did pick the right instrument. Ukulele is the right instrument. It's absolutely lucky that we have it. And uh, uh, thanks to those guys in from Portugal <laughs> back in 1880, uh, they, they gave us a real gift. So here we go. Um, all right, Donna, thanks. Uh, Nancy, uh, have a good rest of the day to you as well. Ray, good to see you, bud. Uh, Mary, good to see you. Rob, give 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 Cat a pat on the head. <laughs> and Vic, I'll see you see you well next hour. And Janice, so good to see you as well. Um, and of course, the next hour is the 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 you know the people who've been around a while coming to the tough you part of this. Uh, and you guys should feel absolutely free to come sit in on that. It's it's uh, it's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna pl- I'm pull the plug, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.